All right, how's it going, y'all? Today we're going to be talking about how to set up Plex on your Synology NAS. So first off, what is Plex? Plex is a really great managed service that allows you to manage all of your digital copies of your different movies and TV shows incredibly easily. This means your NAS can easily host with a beautiful web interface every single video and TV show to every single other device on your home network, such as smart TVs, phones, computers, you name it. And Plex has developed very nice apps for almost everything. This is really great for people who have huge unorganized collections of ripped DVDs of movies and TV shows that they really want nice clean access to, all through an incredibly easy to use web interface. So with a basic free account, you get access to almost all of Plex's features for home network. If you start wanting to do more complex things, there is what's called the Plex Pass, which you can buy either a monthly or a lifetime rate. So Plex is incredibly easy to set up and is really designed to organize all of your media. And it operates by basically reading the file names. And so I'm gonna be demoing this with just some of my videos that I've taken. All right, so now let's go over how to set up Plex on your Synology NAS. All you have to do is go into Package Center and scroll down to Plex. But I've already gone through and installed it and just click Install. So once it's installed, go ahead and open it and it's actually gonna reroute us to Plex. So before this video started, I set up a Plex account. If you've not already done that, I'll leave a link in the description to set up an account. And so once you've set up an account, just click Sign In and it's going to basically pair our Synology with our Plex account. That way we can access everything locally. And here's going to show us how Plex works. And so Plex is going to operate on our Synology NAS to host our Plex TV. And so these are all the things you can do with a Pro Plex account. And so here it's going to allow us to set up this as a server and give it a name and here choose whether or not to open up Plex the outside world. If you would like to, you're gonna to have to set up port forwarding or use Plex's kind of workaround method. If you're never gonna need that, just unclick it and you can set it up later. It is more secure. All right, and so now let's add our library. I'm just gonna go through and create one now. We'll call it movies. Movies. And we'll create a media folder. Make sure to do it within volume one and so we'll create this as our general folder. And so under general is where we're gonna be adding all of our movies. Just click add library. So now click next, download your Plex apps and finish. So now it's gonna say, oh no, we don't have anything. So let's go through and go into DSM again and add some files to that. So general is that folder we're using, right? And so I've got this MOV file. So let's just rename it to taken.mov. And now we need to go through and give Plex access to this folder. So go into control panel, shared folder, select that folder, click edit, permissions, and give Plex read, write, or read-only access. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it read-write access. And now Plex should be able to read that. So let's go back and check it out. And so now that it's got access, we'll have it rescan. And after scanning for a minute, it now sees that Taken is there. It's not actually Taken, it's just a clip of me. But Plex uses the names of the files to use its best judgment to figure out what they are. And so it has this really nice user interface. So let's go ahead and play it. And so we're going to be very disappointed by the fact that Taken is not actually gonna run, but instead my face is. So say it's in a file type that doesn't work for us. We can also go here and click optimize. And so you can set up the optimization settings. Essentially what it'll do is it'll do an offline transcoding to convert from one container to another container that works best with everything. So we'll optimize it for original quality. Just click optimize. Now it will take a while, especially on a Synology, but it's great for slow access. 
So now it's going through and converting it to a more web-friendly format. And so now we can go back and we can see that there are two different versions of this. And then we're gonna choose play version, original quality, which as you can see, requires a lot less power. These are my camera files, which are huge. And so now it loads much quicker and everything like that. And so it'll load over mobile a lot more easily now. All right, and so that's really all there is to it. This is how you can access your entire media library in a really clean fashion over Plex, all on your local network, and have these beautiful web interfaces for just about any device you could wanna play it on. In the future, I'll probably be doing videos on Plex versus DS Video versus Jellyfish, but go ahead and leave any other tutorials you'd like to see me make in the comments below, and have a good one. Bye.